Circuit standing Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. What are you expecting from the president when he visits Ohio tomorrow? Can you give us a sense of what you're seeing from your standpoint in Ohio about the economy right now? Well, the economy is phenomenal. Everyone I talk to is hiring. Employers everywhere, every sector uh, will say, you know, I could grow even faster if we could just get the right workforce. And, you know, one of the great things about Lordstown is they have a tremendous uh, strong workforce there. Uh, and, and, you know, the presidents have been, been a strong advocate for seeing co companies continue to invest. And uh, he's been fighting for, uh, for the workers there. And I think you'll continue to see the president do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got the numbers show the story that things have certainly been improving. What do you worry about? I mean, we are seeing a slowdown across the world. Europe, obviously, a bit of a mess with uh, Brexit uncertainties, uh, Italy uh, budget issues, uh, France issues around, around tax proposals. Do you think the U.S. gets hit by any of that, or do you expect that we continue to see this kind of growth that you refer to? Well, you look at the things we're doing that are distinct. You know, we've changed our regulatory environment and sent strong pro-growth signals, not just with regulatory, but with tax reform. Uh, the things that I hear about that cause some uncertainty is uh, finalizing our trade deals. Uh, I think virtually everyone I right. speak with will agree that the USMCA is better than NAFTA was. It's going to be great for our, our economy. We'd like to get that locked in and certain. And uh, we're optimistic about the results with China, but it's not done yet. So having certainty around that would be tremendous. How much of a blow would it be if they, you, you can't get the USMCA over the finish line? A number of Democrats have come on this program and said, we're not going to vote for it in its current form. Even though you're right, when it was first done, a lot of people said it's better than NAFTA. Yeah, you know, Democrats may end up uh, poisoning it. I hope not. I, I hope it's just not a, p a partisan issue. I mean, you know, when you look at any deal, it's always possible, you know, to come in and go, oh, but wait, you know, the good idea fairy shows up and, you know, maybe we can make it better. Uh, I'm not close to the idea of, of taking something that's, that's already better and continuing to improve upon it. We don't want to see it fall apart. And uh, I think that's the risk when you yeah. tinker with it after it's already cooked. Meanwhile, we are waiting on the Mueller report. Sources are telling me it should be out within the next 10 days. 